Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Theoretical Doctor Audio Blogs. In this video, I will be sharing my personal experience as a house officer in the operating theater, otherwise known as the OT Houseman, while working in the Obstetrics and Gynecology Department. The link to the article of this audio blog is available in the description below if you would prefer to read on it instead. Otherwise, let's begin if there's any place i would rather be in in this whole department it is in the operating theater just like in my previous posting orthopedic the operating theater is where i feel alive the most as a house officer it is our duty to ensure the antibiotics are prepared beforehand for almost all the patients it is iv cafazolin 2 gram stat unless they were given other antibiotics prior to their transfer into the ot thus i would usually smuggle a few boxes of cafazolin bottles prior to entering the operating theater. Next, we have to fill up the board of information regarding the patient's name, gestation, and parity, antenatal issues, location of operation, as well as the operation. Most of the time, being in obstetrics and gynecology department, the operation done is lower segment cesarean section, LSCS, bilateral tubal ligation, BTL, and occasionally classical cesarean section or hysterectomy. After the patient has has been transferred onto the table and has been administered anesthesia block, it is time to scrub in with the surgeon. In ONG, it is important to learn how to drape the patient which is relatively easy and repetitive once you know how to. This is then followed by timeout, testing of the incision site by the surgeon and finally cutting. During LSCS most of the time, the medical officers work extremely fast to get the baby out since most of the time the mother is posted for cesarean section due to acute fetal distress, presumed fetal compromise, or fetal bradycardia. Of course, that is not the case. There are times when a mother is posted due to prolonged second stage of labor, failed induction of labor, chorioamnionitis, refused trial of labor after cesarean, which is known as TOLAC, or electively admitted for LSCS. Personally, the interesting part is during fundal, when the surgeon finally grabs hold of the baby's head and as the first assistant, we are required to press the abdomen of the mother to help push the baby out. After the baby is born, the surgeon would usually wait for a minute before clamping and cutting the umbilical cord and handing the baby to the pediatrics resuscitation team for neonatal resuscitation. This is then followed by closing up of the uterus and abdomen in layers and finally scrubbing out to type out the post-operative notes. The specialty of the ONG department is that they have their own operating theater in the labor ward known as the maternity operating theater. However, should there be another emergency case posted while another case is ongoing, the case will be shifted to the main operating theater. Thank you for listening to this audio blog. Do stay tuned for more which will be available every Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Remember to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button so you won't miss out on any upcoming audio blogs.